This video describes a class of statistically designed experiments called definitive screening designs. Definitive screening designs were added to the DOE wizard in StatGraphics 18. They're available for 4 to 16 process factors. The number of runs is very small. It's only 1 plus 2 times the number of factors. The designs may be blocked if desired into two blocks. And although primarily intended to screen quantitative factors, they can accommodate some two-level categorical factors. DSDs have several desirable properties. They're capable of estimating models containing main effects, quadratic effects, and two-factor interactions. Unlike many fractional factorial designs, the main effects are not correlated with the quadratic effects or the two-factor interactions. The quadratic effects and two-factor interactions are not confounded, although they are correlated. One of the advantages of a definitive screening design is that it has a small number of runs. More importantly, for DSDs with 13 or more runs, it's possible to fit the full quadratic model in any three-factor subset. This means if you run a screening design and find that there are three factors that have major impact on your response, you can fit a response surface model without running additional experiments. You can also add runs to a DSD by creating a design with more factors than necessary and just dropping the extra factors. The first example I'm going to show you is an experiment involving five quantitative factors. In step one, I've defined the response to be the percent reacted in a chemical process. The goal is to maximize that percent. The experimental factors involve feed rate, catalyst, agitation rate, temperature, and concentration. I've specified a range, a low and a high, for each of those five factors. To select a design, I'll push the button labeled Step 3 on the DOE Wizard toolbar. I'll then press the Options button and tell it I'd like to create a screening design. This will give me a list, a pull-down list, of all screening designs for five factors. A very common choice for screening five factors is to run a half fraction, a fractional factorial design. This design has 16 runs and is resolution 5. A resolution 5 design is capable of estimating all of the main effects and all of the two-factor interactions. And they're completely clear of each other. I'm going to select, however, the definitive screening design. It's a little smaller. It's only 13 runs. Now it is resolution 4. Resolution 4 means that the main effects are clear of the two-factor interactions. But the two-factor interactions, and in this case the quadratic effects, are correlated with each other. However, the half fraction could not have estimated the quadratic effects at all. So I'll take the definitive screening design and press OK. It'll now give me a number of options. I can add center points if I want to the design and I can randomize or not randomize the design. In this case I'll uncheck the randomize button so you can see the DSD design in standard order. It's a three level design. You'll notice if you look at it that there are three levels of each of the factors. 
a low level, a central level, and a high level. To accept that design, I'll press OK, which will add additional information to the wizard's window. Step 4 in creating an experimental design in Stat Graphics 18 is to specify the model that you're interested in. For the DSD design, it selected a quadratic model by default. It's entered into the model all of the main effects, all of the quadratic effects, AA here represents feed rate squared, and one interaction, in this case the interaction between feed rate and catalyst. That's not the only model that could be fit. We could remove some of these factors and replace them with others, but that is the default model. To examine the properties of the design, I like to go to step 6, Evaluate Design, and select Correlation Matrix. This will calculate the correlations between each of the effects in the model. You'll notice that the main effects are completely uncorrelated with any other term in the model. There is some correlation amongst the quadratic terms and also the AB interaction, but they're all less than 0.5, relatively small. Let's suppose now that we've run our experiment and when we analyzed the data, it turned out that there were three significant factors, three large main effects, factor B, factor D, and factor E. I can then come back to step four and take out any effect involving A or C. I can also put back into the model the interactions involving those three factors. That's BD, BE, and DE. This is typically called collapsing a design. It's now become a three-factor design, and I have all the main effects, all the quadratic effects, and all the interactions. You'll notice that the correlation matrix still has quite good properties. There are no large correlations. Now, the really interesting thing is I could have done this with any three factors. And since it involves a BD, uh, sorry, a BB term, a DD term, and an EE term, it means I can estimate curvature with respect to all three of those factors. This is the real advantage of the DSD design. I don't have to do another experiment now to map out the response surface. I have the full second order model already available to me. For my second example, I'm going to take the factors that I'm currently experimenting with, the five factors, and add one additional factor. So I'll up the number of controllable process factors from five to six. This factor, and I'll just call it factor F, I'm going to set to be a, a categorical factor. And I'm going to specify two levels for the categorical factor, A and B. Now when I go to select the design, push the options button and look at what screening designs are available, you'll see that I have a screening design, a definitive screening design, involving 14 runs. Actually, there's a unblocked version in 14 runs or a blocked version in 16 runs. I'll take the 14 run design, press OK, put it in standard order again, and here you can see the design. I have three levels of each of the quantitative factors and of course just two levels 
of the categorical factor. I'll press OK and now you can see what happens in the correlation matrix. I'm able to estimate main effects of all the factors. I'm able to estimate quadratic effects for the continuous factors. And if I go to specify model, you'll see that I can selectively enter two-factor interactions involving all six factors. The definitive screening designs are an important addition to the design of experiments wizard in Stack Graphics 18.